Skyscraper stars Dwayne The Rock Johnson, and he plays a security guard living with his family in this building in Hong Kong, which is the tallest building in the world. It's called the Pearl. Terrorists seize control of this building, and The Rock has to save his family. Sounds very familiar, doesn't it? Yeah, we've seen this before. I went in, I went into Skyscraper hoping to get at least a 90s action movie vibe out of it, because that's what I had been hearing. I walked out very disappointed. I hated this movie. This movie is awful. It's atrocious. This is one of my least favorite movies of the year. Here's why. Dwayne Johnson it gives a solid performance, but the thing is, is there's no charisma to his character. He's not even this big, burly badass that we know him to be in this movie. Every attempt at character development just... They say something and then they don't expand on it. It just falls flat. He's got this prosthetic leg, which I think would have been a really wise idea, but it really turns out not to be a wise idea because it just bogs him down. Like, he's just tripping all over the place. He's not really fighting anybody. He's just climbing up stuff. He's not fighting anybody. I want to see The Rock fight people, you know? That's why I go to see The Rock. Niv Campbell returns. I mean, she hasn't made a movie in, like, almost ten years. She was solid, so, I mean, I'll give the movie that. It's just that this movie doesn't know what it is. This movie had to be self-aware. It is not self-aware. It, it's, it's ridiculous. It's silly. It's cheesy. But it takes itself way too seriously, and it shouldn't have. Now look, I get it. You have to suspend your disbelief with a movie like this. Physics aren't going to come into play. Everybody's just going to defy gravity. But you have to go over the top and commit to that premise of being so silly and ridiculous and over the top that you have to be self-aware. And this movie failed to do that. It should have, because that's what it set it up to be. That's what Ross and Marshall Thurber wanted this movie to be, and it wasn't. It should have been that throwback 90s action movie that I was hoping it would be, and it's not. There's literally a scene where The Rock whips out a sword, randomly. Like, if it had committed to that, then I would have been fine. You know those action movies in the 90s that are so bad it's good? This is what I was hoping that would be. If it was something that was so ridiculous, but it was ridiculous in, like, the most silly, entertaining way, like most 90s action movies are, then I would have enjoyed this. I would have been like, yeah, I had some fun, there were a few chuckles, and it was entertaining. I enjoyed it. But I really didn't because the movie doesn't go that route. It doesn't know what it wants to be. It's some super secret, serious movie about terrorists who want money? You want money? Why is every action movie money now? What? I don't get the motivations for these terrorists. It explains it. I still don't understand. I'm like, with Big Whoop, I don't care. Like, they're taking over a 250-story building because of this? It makes no sense. This entire movie makes no sense. It's, it's, ah. I know, people are going to say, well, you know, it's just there to be entertaining. Yeah, but when I'm bored during the action scenes, that's a problem. When I'm literally zoning out and falling asleep when the action is going down, that's a huge problem with action films. That means it is not interesting, it is not entertaining, and it is definitely a big bore. This movie just was an epic fail for me. It didn't capture any of the 90s nostalgia action that I wanted it to. It tries to touch a lot on the family dynamic, but I feel like it fails, it fails there too, because these kids, I'll, I'll give it up for these kids, they're not terrible actors, but they do kind of get a little bit annoying towards the end, especially where it's like, Daddy! Daddy! You know, like, I get it, they're kids, but seriously, like, I mean, it, it tried to play way too much into that stuff. Just let The Rock kick ass. That's what he's here to do. Let him kick ass. Don't sideline him for the whole movie and have him tripping over stuff. That's not fun. That's not fun at all. I didn't have fun with this movie. I'm gonna give Skyscraper an F. Not happy with this movie. Definitely not happy with this movie. Really, really disappointed. Like I said, not this movie is not self-aware. It should have committed to that self-awareness. And it's not, unfortunately. Thank you for watching my review of Skyscraper. You guys are the best. Keep subscribing to my channel. I will leave all my links to my social media accounts in the description below. Thank you for watching. My name is Alex Madden, a certified G and a bona fide stud, and you can't
change that.